Hello, my name is Noma and I'm the user experience specialist here at Evans Library. Today, we're going to be talking about Zoom and how you can use it to present like a pro and best practices for online presentations. We're going to be going over the following objectives today. Preparing a presentation, sharing your screen seamlessly, engaging with your audience virtually, technical tips to ace the presentation, and on-campus resources. Before we get to Zoom, let's talk about how to prepare for the presentation. You want to analyze the speaking situation. How much does the audience know about the subject? And what is the purpose and goal of this presentation? You also want to organize and develop the presentation, gather information needed, and make sure to cite your sources. When preparing for a presentation, you also want to prepare the graphics. Effective graphics that are visible, legible, simple, and clear make a great presentation. Lastly, you want to rehearse the presentation. Make sure you're comfortable with each slide before doing your presentation. When you screen share, this is what you can expect to see. Make sure to select share sound and optimize video clip when sharing audio and video clips. As a tip, you always want to have your presentation already open and downloaded to your computer. That way you can go directly to the file and present. As you can see over here, the PowerPoint is already open and this is where you'd find your share sound and optimize video clip. With the advanced screen sharing, this makes your PowerPoint the virtual background and puts a small image of you in the bottom right corner that you can adjust to your liking. This is an interesting way of keeping your audience engaged. This is what you can expect to see on your screen when you use advanced screen sharing option. Take note how you can still see the audience at the top of your screen and how your own screen has the PowerPoint in the background. So over here, this would be your audience and you are the presenter and your background mimics your icon. When it comes to keeping your audience engaged, this is where you can find the whiteboard. This is a fun way of drawing and perhaps illustrating some of your thoughts in a different and interactive way. You will also find the annotate tool on your floating toolbar. This allows you to illustrate and point out key facts and figures on the screen. If you're in a group presentation, as long as all the members are co-hosts, they can each annotate something and the annotations will be labeled with each group member's name. Within the annotate tool, you will also find the spotlight tool. And this works like a laser for you to draw your audience to certain facts and figures. So on to the technical side of the presentation. Make sure your lighting is adequate for the presentation. If your lighting is still too dark, you can enhance your appearance in the settings by touching up the video quality. Zoom backgrounds are fun, but sometimes there's a time and a place for these backgrounds. Take note of your physical background too. Roommates walking in the background, cats and dogs chasing each other can take away from your A-star performance. Be aware of your placement of your webcam. You want to aim to have your camera at eye level. That way it appears as if you're talking to your audience directly. When presenting, don't forget to make your group members co-hosts early on. And equally important, when one person is presenting, make sure to mute the mics. Lastly, you want to rehearse for this presentation. And the only way of doing that is practice, practice, practice. You can also take advantage of the record feature 
and practice a couple days before to see how your presentation flows and sounds. You can also find on-campus resources from faculty experts from the School of Arts and Communication. Just to name a few, we have Amy Lockman, Kitura Mazo, Stephanie Gonzalez, and Natalie Dorfeld. You can also explore helpful resources from the Evans Library websites, from resources and tips for creating presentations at the following link, and past Evans Library workshops on presentations and posters at the following link. You can also find more resources on the Evans Library YouTube page. 